Hey everyone and welcome to a new um, video. Um, usually a tutorial, but today we're gonna do more of an instructional video. I'm gonna try and show you guys how to put a grip on a stick. Quite important, whenever you buy a stick, it usually comes with the basic grip. It's a little bit more of a tennis grip and it has a um, pretty good grip. However, if it gets wet, it tends to slide a little. That's why I prefer um, as they call it, uh, a chamois grip, but as they say in Dutch, uh, a zeempje. And what this does, it is absorbs water really well. That's why I like it. And today I'm gonna try and show you guys how to roll on a grip as, as, as good as you can to make sure it feels perfect for the games. So what's the biggest mistake people make when doing um, uh, putting a grip on a stick is that uh, it's not symmetrical. So. It, it tends to slide and you get little gaps and then whenever water comes in, it gets really messy. So, what do you need? Uh, you need your, your hockey grip, uh, in this case uh, a chamois or as the Dutch say a zeempje, and just normal hockey tape. It's a simple hockey tape, you can get it anywhere in any hockey store, online or, um, or whatever. And um, that's all you need. Whether you prefer the thickness of the chamois grip over your normal grip, uh, you can choose whether you take this one off or that you leave it on and you put this one over. So I prefer to put this one over this one because it gives me exactly the right thickness that I like uh, on my hockey stick. So step one for me is what you want to do is you want to make sure that when you start with the grip that it doesn't keep on sliding so that when you go like this and then it slides on and it tends to slip off so what we're going to do is we're going to take a little piece of tape, just a little piece which you don't want to see and you don't want it to be too much because otherwise the thickness at the top is going to be different than the rest of the stick. And what you do is you just, wait, got to get the right side. You just put it a little bit like this. That's what I do. And make sure it doesn't have the exact thickness of the grip itself. So what you want to do is you want to place the grip at the top and then you want to stick the small piece of tape so that when now when you pull, it's stuck and that it won't slide. So then what you can do is you can start to go around and what you can do is you can, the first lap you make needs to be all the way on the same height as where you started. Don't go down yet because then you get an ugly bit here which you don't like and you have to fix it with tape and the problem with tape is when it gets wet, it slides as well. So the first lap you make is all the way to the top so that you get this at the top. As you can see, is the first overlap, about one centimeter. Then you pull really tight and that's when you decide to go down diagonally. And then because you wanna prevent this from happening, you need to pull really tight and then pull down. So now what you get is the first lap was all the way to where I started. And then from there on, I'm gonna go downwards and that's when you decide how you want the overlap to be. So make sure you pull nice and tight to prevent any bubbles in the grip. As you can see here, it's quite nice. That's the way I like it. And then from here on, you can decide how far you want the overlap to be. So do you wanna go overlap really wide or do you wanna make it really thin? I like it really thin. Also, the, the total distance of the grip isn't that long. So the thicker you go, you might not make it all the way to the bottom. I like it to be just about a few millimeters overlap and every time you pull and press with your thumb down to make sure that it doesn't slide. So now that's really nice, that's how I like it and from here on you just keep going and then now make sure you pull tight, press with your thumb and then when you do that you can go down, down, all the way down and you see the distance between every lap is the same. That's the way I like it, going down to the bottom. And once you get towards the bottom, then you have to decide on the next thing. And the next thing is how far down you want to go. Sometimes going far down to the bottom, all the way up to here, can be a possibility. However, it might make the weight distribution of the stick feel different. So what I do is I actually go to the bottom of where the old grip was, and around here is where I want to cut it off. So I cut it off here because that sort of makes the weight distribution the way I like it. So when you get to the end, what you want to do is you want, say you want to cut this off, 
You can use scissors, or in my case, I like to rip it off, because you can. And then, you take a piece of tape, you make sure that when you place the tape, it's exactly on the same line as the grip. So don't do that, because then you get this ugly bit. Make sure it's exactly on the end. Make sure you press down. And then from here on, you press nice and tight. And make sure it sticks down. And from here, you just finish off with a few laps. And then make sure that sticks down. And then what you get is a really nice grip, which has exactly the same distance between every lap. And it feels really comfortable. And that's ready to go. Hey guys, thanks for watching that video. Uh, don't forget to post your own hockey stuff. Don't forget to tag me and also use the hashtag hockey invites. The FIH really want everyone to join, play and watch hockey. So let's grow this community and make sure you keep on posting your stuff.